today we will be talking about uh, Beam app and the common errors we are getting in it. Okay. So we all know that Beam is a very successful UPI app and currently uh, almost 10 million people have downloaded it. But some people are having very teething tr troubles with Beam app. Okay. So what we we are going to do here is to solve these issues. So firstly some people are having difficulty in downloading Beam app. So what you have to go uh, you have to do is you have to go on Play Store, Google Play Store and uh, enter Beam. Now Beam is a very popular app. Now but you will see a lot of clones up here. Okay. So you have to select the Beam app which has National Payment Corporation of India written. That is the only true app. Okay. So this is the thing, right? So one, some people are having uh, difficulty. This app is not available in your country. So this is, uh, so may, they may have set, bought their phone from outside. So they have to set their location to India. Then they may be able to uh, enable it. Thirdly, this app is not supported on your device. I mean, uh, some, if you have, uh, Initial Beam app was working till Gingerbread. I have heard some rumors that it is not working and now it is working 4.0 onwards. So you need to check up with that but in general it should work because most of the uh, uh, mobile phones are uh, ice cream sandwich onwards only. Okay, 4.0 onwards. So you can check that by going to settings about phone and you see the operating system that is the Android version should work. Uh, you should know that uh, iPhones uh, are not currently supported and Windows phone they are no plan. iPhones you have a different app as of now so phone pay and beam will come in like 5 to 10 days so you need to uh, you can get along with that. Windows phone there is no ETA that is expected time of arrival so I mean it is very difficult to tell if Windows phone owners will get. For all other phones you can use star 99 hash which is a different offline form of Beam now that USSD and UPI are more integrated. Okay, so when you have downloaded and you have installed this app, okay, the app is smooth, it is a hardly around 1 to 2 MB download and it opens fast. So sometimes what happens this app will open and it will not go beyond that it will be stuck on the interface right uh, and then uh, sometimes this might happen or what will happen is it will ask for your permissions it will ask you to access your SMS and phone state SMS is needed to verify okay in the previous version it also asked for contacts uh, but in, some people objected to it so it was withdrawn now it is accessing an SMS and phone state so you allow it to access it there is no security or these errors in that so that is good that you can allow it okay now even uh, what will happen is sometimes it will be stuck at this screen beam screen okay or sometimes an often error you will be getting is your uh, this thing device binding failed now what is the cause of it basically what beam tries to do is once the, once the app, app launches it try, tries to get your device details mac id your same details okay and sends to its server okay so when it is get, gathering these details sometimes it might not be able to gather these details so in that case what you have to do is you have to simply uh, uh, you have to simply create uh, you have to try again okay uh, so you have to uninstall the beam app then try installing it again sometimes repeatedly this device binding error comes okay so what you can do is you go into the beam app and try to clear the cache you go in apps you select the beam app here the example is of google play store don't select google play store select the beam app and you clear the cache okay go in the clear cache option sometimes it might work or sometimes you might try to clear the system cache okay 
system cache uh, that you can do in recovery. Generally, this kind of uh, error is co commonly hap happening with Xiaomi Redmi phones. Okay, so there you have to go in recovery and uh, you have to clean on wipe, clean wipe and data where you don't have to clean that wipe the data, but you have to wipe the cache partition. Sometimes it helps, but there are no guarantees, obviously. Uh, sometimes what happens is your Android system web view is old so you have to go on google google play store you have to type android system web view and you have to update it if it is not updated so there are various kind of errors that can happen and then beam app might work once you are through that screen once the device is bounded you you will get this message verify your mobile number okay then you have to select the proper sim okay that is sim 1 or sim 2 right so let's say if you are uh, so so you select the appropriate sim which is linked with your mobile number okay so you select the sim proper sim and then you click on verify okay so it will try to send out an sms from your phone okay so uh, what will happen is uh, sometimes the errors here can happen is your verify mobile failed okay we could not send sms maybe due to insufficient balance poor network so what are the errors that can happen one that your phone has insufficient balance less than 1.5 rupees so then this error might happen okay or it might have a poor network okay so you check the network if it is okay then try again thirdly what a common form of error is happening is if you are Previously what was happening is Geo phone was not able to send the SMS but now it has been if your mobile number is Geo so it is enabled by default. Other error might be that your default message you check on your you go to settings you check the navigation option you check which is which is your default option. If your default messaging option is the other mobile then you will be having difficulty. So how you can change that you go in settings and you select in going sim card manager and you select which are which are which is the preferred sim card for voice call or for messaging here you select the preferred messaging call to be your the sim which is registered for example idea in that case or whatever okay so you have to get go in sim card manager and then tell, send other way is sometimes you will see when it is not SMS is uh, in, um, so when the verify mobile failed you will see that the SMS couldn't be sent then you have to go to the messaging option if these things don't work so in messaging option you will see that it, um, the B map is trying to send to um, a message or verification code to a certain number and it was not sent so you have to click on that and retry to send it okay so these, this is one of the ways to get SMSing uh, option to work. Okay, so this is one of the ways that it can work. So <coughs> I hope by after that uh, your uh, this thing will verify. Now when you will go in uh, Beam app, the second thing you will go, then the app will open and the account setting will cap come then you will go in bank account and try to add bank accounts now one often error is coming when you click on one of the banks then it is the error is error fetching bank accounts okay or account details not visible okay now why th this error is coming one your mobile number is not linked with the bank okay now being the UPI website NPCI website says that mobile banking is not necessary your bank just needs to be registered with your bank account but this is not true in especially in many cases of SBI okay state bank of India what you have to do in many cases of state bank of India apps is that you have to uh, register for st uh, state bank freedom application so the or even sometimes it is happening in other bank applications as well my advice to you is download the mobile banking application if this error is happening download the mobile banking application of your you know, certain of your bank 
and try to register it okay so by downloading it and opening it it will try to register itself otherwise there are other methods also for example in state bank of india you said send mbs reg to 9223344400 okay you can check it google it up and then it sends you a user id and m pin that can help you in registering okay and then after doing all this you have to put in go to the atm card atm atm machine uh, by sbi atm you have to put in your atm card and you have to put in go and enter click on the registration button and enter your mobile number there or you can get it done into in the bank itself uh, in ic uh, so we were talking about the error in fetching uh, details okay so uh, so state bank of india application uh, so and similarly for other bank details also currently the bhim app has also difficulty in fetching the current accounts okay so that and plus if your mobile number is linked to two accounts okay of the same bank then you will have difficulty or if it is to joint account or business account then you are having difficulty also check if your uh, details are uh, if also check if your <coughs> banking account is properly registered uh, <coughs> bank is properly registered to that sim number or not so this is very important okay then other thing is when you uh, when you will set uh, this thing when you will be suppose you successfully get past this then uh, you will see that your bank account will show up here okay so you will see uh, by your bank account you, and you will see something like the six digit upi pin exists and then option to reset or change upi pin or request balance then you will be wondering i haven't ordered for a I haven't had set this six digit pin or a four digit pin then how come it was working right so so you you will be wondering that so what you have to do is don't worry then reset upi pin okay so what the reset upi pin does is you set a upi pin for transactions based on your uh, atm card details and what on pressing reset upi pin the npci contacts with your bank server it sends you bank sends you an otp and then you have to enter the last six digit of your debit card a valid up to button and the otp details and then your upi pin you which you want to set so but many errors can here and can occur here now i'll walk you through it one of the common errors that can happen is sometimes in some banks like dena bank sends only four digit otp whereas the uh, the otp which is mandated is six digit so here for example you will get an otp 4134 so but the otp required is six digit so what you have to do is you have to enter two extra zeros before that so 4134 will become 004134 so it will work like that the next errors can happen is your debit card details are wrong right so for example in mastro card what happens that there is not no valid up to up to up till date okay Val valid up to there is only valid from date so the default uh, expiry date is 01 by 49 okay january 49 that is for mastro so it should work many a times all these methods don't work right so so here you can set it without otp as well you have to dial star 99 star 99 hash then you go to 7 select 7 enter 7 then elect 1 to set upi pin that can happen without otp so you can set you can send it without otp so this is uh, so you can bypass this error generating m pin or error generating otp message messages otp entered incorrect i told you you have to enter double zero if there is four digit or you can uh, use star 99 star 7 star 1 hash to send set up upi without otp okay and then once you have set upi otp you have to go into the bhi map clear its data as we that did before and then the next time you have 
the pin will be already set or you can reinstall bmap since you have already set your upi pin okay so i mean after the you have done these the people are getting common errors that uh, when you send money by bmap what is happening is that your uh, sometimes the money has been sent but it is not showing up there in amounts so you have to remember generally the upi errors are commonly uh, generally they if there is failure of transaction it shows in one or two hours it corrects itself otherwise it can take as long as one seven days so these this is some of the defect with the uh, upi system not with the bheem app right but generally it will clear itself in one or two hours or at end of day otherwise it can take long to 6 7 days also but there is 90% of your transactions will be sec, uh, settled in 7 days okay so this okay uh, other things which can be uh, uh, happening is your transaction can get failed so what i do is firstly i at least request some balance okay if your my requesting balance is working properly with upi pin then only i transfer money so you can check that you whether your bank's website is working or not many times if your bank's website is not working for example sbi or ici i then it will fail to send right so this is one of the common errors many a times you might send it to a incorrect number okay in that case it is instantly credited and debited if you are sending it to a non existent number then it will be instantly debited and credited back okay uh so these are the common things that are uh, happening but still like uh, credit fail and amount reversals are occur occurring and so we have to uh, be uh, cautious around that okay